Okay, guys. Today, what I want to do, I wanted to test this inverter and see how much it drains on your battery when you got this thing on with no um, load on it and when you got it in power saver mode. I got it set in power saver mode right now. I got a little fan plugged up over here. I'm going to see if this little fan will switch it out of power saver mode and bring it, bring the inverter back online when I turn it on. And then we're going to see what the load is. Then I'm going to turn the fan back off and see what the load drop back down. Then we're going to take it off of power saver mode and we're going to put it on regular, um, on how it runs regularly. And then we're going to see how much amps and how much watts it draws um, sitting that way with no load on it but just sitting on. So let's get started here. Turn it on here. These PIP 24, 24s is pretty loud. Especially when they just sitting idle. We using 15 watts 0.61 amps. Okay, it just went into power saver mode. We pulling 14 watts. 0.46 amps at 25.5 volts. I'm gonna turn on the fan and we'll see if that comes up. I guess it's sensing for the fan. It ain't kicked in yet. It's trying to turn. But nothing. Keep hearing a little faint click, and the fan is barely turning. Maybe this load is not enough to make it turn on. Let me go get something with a heavy, little heavier load. Oh, I got something. Let's plug this soldering iron in. Do the solder now. Turn the fan off. See how it's blinking? That's crazy. You would think this would have enough load to make it come on. Okay, that didn't work. Let's take it out of power saver mode and we will put it into regular operation mode. Hold on. Okay, guys, I put it in regular regular operational mode took it off the power saver mode right now don't have no load on there everything is sitting at zero and it's reading 36 watts 1.36 amps so you pull in 36 watts just at an idle so let's turn the fan on and see what it does Okay, the fan is running. Took it up to 60 watts. 2.32 amps. Oh, 
on the inverter here, we read in 20, 28, 29 watts and 1 amp. On here, we getting 2 amp and 60 watts. Let's turn this off. Okay, we getting 1.40 amps and about 36 watts. And right now on the pip is reading zero amps and zero watts. So, huh, let's turn this back on again. We read 25 watts. That's about right. So the inverter with that load is pulling 2.2 .2 amps and a 60 watts. Let's put a heavier load on it and see what it does. Put the soldering iron on. Soldering iron, it went to 4 amps, 93 watts, which is not too bad. Battery voltage is still 24.7. Well, shut the fan down and see. It doesn't say on this soldering iron how many watts this thing is. Just wondering if it did. I had to get my kilowatt meter and test it and see. But turning off the fan, it came down to 73. 75 around in there. 2.9 amps. Battery sitting at 24.7. Back to the inverter. Batteries went up to 24.8, and the amps is reading 1.34 amps at 35 watts. Put it in the shutdown mode. Even in shutdown mode, it's still. 10 watts 0. Point, almost a half an amp quarter of an amp there it go it just shut down alright I didn't learn too much Learned that this thing used quite a bit of watts, even when you are, even when you are sitting here in standby mode. Mm, didn't use too much, but once you came out of standby, it cranked up. One more time, let's see what it do. Ten watts. All right. The inverter just kicked in. I guess that what the click was. Now we're pulling thirty-five and one point four amps.
Alright guys, it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to cut this and shut it down. And I just wanted to see, since I had these little uh, meters, how much power this thing was actually running when you wasn't pulling no power. So, if you was running on grid power right now, pulling grid through grid power through here and you wasn't even using the battery or the inverter look like you'd be pulling about 1.4 amps and about 35.7 watts okay guys that's it I'm gonna let you go try to get something else up for you I'm going to do a couple of things and I'll try to get another video 